Hi there! Chris from Stone Age Gamer here, and now let's talk a little bit about the Famicom. It's a wonderful game system that unfortunately has a number of pretty significant limitations built into the hardware itself, not the least of which is its audio video output, but thankfully the RGB blaster now exists. This thing here plugs into the cartridge slot and allows you to output RGB, as the name suggests. How does it work? Let's take a look. Alright, this here is the RGB Blaster, and this is what it looks like when you buy it from Stone Age Gamer. It comes in a Bitbox case, which has this uh, nice artwork on it, some information on the back, and it contains the unit itself nice and snug so you can store it when it's not in use. Now as for the unit itself, when you buy it from Stone Age Gamer, it comes in your choice of different colored shells from Humble Bazooka. These 3D printed shells uh, make the thing sit nice and comfy inside of your system uh, and look quite pretty as well. So this is the RGB blaster. Uh, basically the way this works is you would plug your cables into the back here and those go to your television and then this plugs into your system and games go onto the top. Now it is important to note that this is designed for RGB only. So if you're going to buy this and plug some uh, composite cables into it, that's not going to fly. This is going to be giving you an RGB signal and that is what you've got to use. So uh, it's designed for Sega Genesis 2 style inputs here. So you're going to want to get a, a, a component cable or an S-cart cable, something that is RGB, not standard composite. Uh, so just to kind of see what this looks like when you're using it, here's a, a Famicom right here. You're just going to pop this right into the top of your system like so, just like a game. It fits nice and snug. And then we'll grab a copy of Super Mario Brothers 3 here, put that right on the top. Now it is going to make your Famicom a bit taller than usual, so uh, make sure you've got the shelf space for it, but you'll just plug the cable right in the back there, uh, use your regular power supply for your Famicom, and then you'll be getting an RGB signal, nice crisp and clear game play on your television. So the only thing to do now is see it in action, so let's go. Okay, so here we have the RGB Blaster in action. I have it connected to a Famicom. I have my controller on its extraordinarily short cable right here. Uh, and this is being connected to my uh, CRT via component cable. This is the HD Retrovision Sega Genesis cable. And as you can see, the picture quality is very, very nice on this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start and uh, play a little bit of Super Mario Brothers 3. And there's zero input lag, obviously. It is a uh, it looks and sounds wonderful. The colors are incredibly bright, and the sound, I noticed, is actually a lot louder uh, and more clear than coming through an RF signal, uh, because, well, that's just the way RGB... What did I do? I can't believe I got hit by that guy. Uh, but anyway, that's just a, a little basic uh, illustration of this thing in action, and me, I'm just gonna go ahead and... Goodbye, Mario. You had a good run. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a zoom in here, give you a little bit of a closer look here on the map screen of what the difference is between uh, this running on a regular RF signal versus the RGB blaster. So here you go. The RGB Blaster is available now at StoneAgeGamer.com, so you can play your Famicom games in crystal clear RGB video. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked what you saw here today, please follow, comment, like, subscribe, share, and let us know down in the comments which games are you going to play on your RGB Blaster with crystal clear fidelity on your CRTs like never before. We like to hear from you. Thanks again on behalf of all of us here at Stone Age Gamer. Keep playing games. Oh. Well, it comes gone off. <laughs>